Last week we shared that we decided to pack up our home and sell everything we own to travel the world. But what we didn't share is, after 16 years, I left my work in Alaska and we were asked why. And I think about all the things that I am grateful for. We finally get to live full time together. Outside of the US. <laughs> so we're having a little fun with our title. We did say, hey, we were leaving the US to live full time together. And there's actually truth to that title. But yeah, I think people would be surprised to learn that over the last 16 years, as long as we've been together, I actually worked in Alaska. Uh, for three weeks at a time and come home for three. So when you do the math, I'm gone for eight years. Mm -hmm. Part time living. And home for eight years. So to give a little context to that, we live mm -hmm. in Oregon and we moved there in 2012 uh, from Alaska. So I would fly from Oregon all the way to Alaska, but not just like your Anchorage, Alaska, your touristy spots, all yeah. the way to the tippy top of Alaska, deep in the Arctic. And quite frankly, oftentimes when you look at the map, I felt closer to Russia than I did home. I know that this is going to sound a little cliche uh, with the saying life is short, but that plays a very, very big part of the big decision that we made. Mm -hmm. And I really think you'd be able to explain more about why. Yeah, so it's been about what two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, so two years ago. My mom passed away, and I'm going to leave that link to the video in the description if you'd like to look at it. But mom and dad's relationship uh, played a big role in how we try to live our own. I think mom was always very playful with dad, and I know he loved that. And she loved her grandkids. Oh, yeah. You know, so they had a lot of good memories. They traveled together. They just really loved each other, and they did everything together. And I, I really think that they're such a great example of mm -hmm. actually... Um, a husband and wife enjoying life together. Yeah. So when you do the math, like we just talked about of, you know, the last 16 years being gone for eight years, being home for eight years, you know, it just it was we time. Yeah. It was just time missing out on family events. I missed out on a lot of birthdays, a lot of Christmases, Thanksgivings, and I'm just, I guess kind of over it. Oh, <laughs> not yeah. really willing to do that. And so a big why was mom. And, uh, the legacy she left behind, I want to be able to try to carry that on in my own way. And for so long, we've had a bucket list of traveling the world. Big one. A very big one. Yep. We just never put action into it, but the time is now and we're actually living it. Um, yeah. How do you feel about that? I think the timing, you know, it was just, I think the last two years, I mean, like a lot of people, you know, last two years, of course, you know, I hate to keep mentioning it, but oh. you had the pandemic. Uh, you had time away from family, you know, mom passing away, you know, things at work took a change to where, you know, if I'm being honest, it wasn't as enjoyable anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, financially, we made some sacrifices that just worked out. And so I think the cards just fell and we just, it just kind of, I won't say fell in our lap, but kind of did to where we were like, <clears throat> hey, you know, we've had this goal for the last five or six years and it the time was just now. It was like the universe said, now or never. And so we had to make a decision. And we actually, actually went for it. Um, mm -hmm. We always have this saying to each other, or you yeah. always say to just do it in fear, do it in fear. And it's just so easy to yeah. say, right? <laughs> and then we make the decision and it's like, oh, yeah, holy crap. I probably about poop my pants several times when we actually, <laughs> we actually did uh, make the leap and, and just yeah. kind of quit my job. Speaking of work, is there anything that you miss or don't miss about it? Oh, yeah. I mean... None? Well, yeah. Not going back to work is something I will not miss. I won't miss saying goodbye, you know, uh, every few weeks to you. And uh, I won't miss those long days in the airport, you know, especially during the winter when it's just rainy and, you know, just sitting there by myself having a meal and thinking about home. So I definitely won't miss that. Um, I won't miss the cold Arctic days. You know, it could get pretty windy. Uh, just the weather could be terrible, minus 75, 60 degrees. I don't know. Definitely, you know. Yeah, I definitely won't miss that. Is there anything that you miss? I do. I miss uh, the views. There were oh. some pretty unique views up at work that you don't really get to see in the lower 48. 
And I'm not sure if it was, you know, just because you're so remote and there's this like peaceful silence up there. Like you can literally hear yourself thinking. Hear you're your away thoughts. from me. Yeah, away from you. Uh, but no, some of the oh. views and just being so remote was a unique experience. And then getting to see uh, wildlife. wildlife, yeah, in their own environment and just how close the they will actually get to you was uh, was pretty pretty awesome. How about you though? I mean, I've got the experience of leaving home and the good, the bad, the things I don't like. But you know, you live this too. So, what were things that you? I guess it was hard and things that weren't hard. It was hard, but the positive thing that came out of it was the time apart. Being yeah. that I had, <laughs> I had to learn how to be even more independent and making sure that things are done at home. Yeah. Um, I think after like how many years together, 16 years, I don't think I've left you a honeybee list, no. but um, we're just both independent people. Yeah, that, yeah but, I mean, interrupt you, but that was one thing that I always appreciated. I would hear stories about guys like, you would always ask when you see him, like, hey, what did you do this R&R? &R? You know, and I would hear like, oh, I remodeled the bathroom or I had to do the kitchen or, you know, I had to do a bunch of honeydews and they'd ask me and I'm like, I, I don't ever have honeydews. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't, I didn't have to do any like remodels or anything. Yeah. Anyhow, um, on your very last day, I'm mm -hmm. just curious, um, when you're on that bus ride to the mm -hmm. airport, what was going through your mind? Moments like this are unique, full of reflection about how far the journey has been. But what was going through my mind more than anything was how proud I was about the memories and accomplishments we made. The past 16 years took a lot of sacrifice. It was and is a blessing to look back knowing that what we created in our lives was a success. But as we say goodbye to one chapter in our marriage, I'm excited to see what's next because we really have no idea. I was just coasting till we met You remind me just how good it can get Well I've been on fire dreaming of you Tell me you don't, it feels like you do Looking like that you'll open some wounds How does it start and when does it end? Only been here for a moment, but I know I want you But is it too soon to know that I'm with you? There's nothing I can do Sometime around one, we fell asleep to escape from the sun and we woke up to the sound of a storm outside We stood at your front door You looked at me and said Baby, this rain changes everything And my heart ran away from me I was just coasting till we met You remind me just how good it can get been on fire dreaming of you Tell me you don't, it feels like you do Opening up can open some wounds How does it start and when does it end? Only been here for a moment